over and over again that the Word of God is something which will keep you going, which will never put you down, which will give you life, which is, which was, and which will be. Amen? Okay, so with that thought, I just want us to have a accept up. We just pray to the Father in heaven to release this Holy Spirit upon each one of us today that we might receive your best that He's given for us. Because the Word of God says that Peter is the thing that the Father is given for us. He says, uh, Jesus says that the Father in heaven is pleased to give the kingdom to those who ask Okay? So let's close our eyes and you know, your eyes go on. Father, we want to thank you for every single soul that's here in this place. Lord God, you who said that the very hairs of your head is counted, you are so specific. And we want to pray today that the very specifics of the word that is in the Bible, that is spoken by your Son, will be revealed to the hearts of the people, even during this worship and through the session of the word. And I pray, God, that you will make a change in our hearts and people who will experience the fullness of the living word. In Jesus' name.
or the strength of God or the might of God shall rule over your life. So before that, there was one necessary thing that you had to do. That was repentance. You know, today out of the world, the place where I'm working, or anywhere, if you if you take it into consideration, people are not powerful. First of all, they don't believe that there is sin. There is sin. Only if you believe that sin is not power. That sin is a man. It's personified like a giant which can come and destroy lives. Amen? But people of the world have forgotten that sin exists. You know the, the, the beautiful thing that they say, which they say, not me, they say, anything you do, they say, so what? You heard this stuff in the world? I think like, so what? Whatever you do, they say, so what? Jesus came down on the hospital, so what? You understand, right? It's something alive. So repentance is the key or repentance primary thing that you need to even look into the kingdom of God or even peek into the kingdom of God. Amen? Can you move that scripture? Luke 24 verse 48 to 49. How many of you have got your Bibles here? We have over 400 Bibles. We expect around 600 people to come here. So we thought we don't be disputed. Can you keep the Bibles up? Some of them are done. At least for the New Testament. 24 was 48 to 49. Receiving, receiving, you are like, start doing it. 
Amen? You understand that? That's what he said. I the Lord, Lord, what do you mean by the word? He said, the word means, first of all, before obeying is to will. You gotta be willing. You gotta be willing to obey the word. After you obey, you will receive something from heaven. And what you receive is not for you to become fat. It's for you to release. It's for doing. It's for doing. You gotta move into action. That's what the Holy Spirit wants. Jesus fulfilled all this. He was willing to take up the cross. He obeyed the Father and died on the cross. He received the crown of God's resurrection. And now he's still living with us. And Amen? Amen? That's the word. It's willing, obeying, receiving, and doing. The word of God can be divided, and I mean, in other words, can be described in these three forms. One, one would be this. Everybody can hear me right? Is that all of the man? Okay. The first thing is the strategy. God set a strategy for the entire human race. People try to do various things to get out of the world, which, which is not right, which they feel uh, guilty or whatever they feel. They want to get rid of it. But there's no way in chapter 3 verse 16. All that you have to do with the strategy is two things. One, you want to be willing to accept it, and you want to be obeying it. Just two things. You got to be willing and obeying. What God? Are these words very straight or not? Every word is straight. Because Jesus said the road to the kingdom is straight. Most of us want to God. It's, it's just straight. You got to just pick the word, put it into action, and you will see it. You will see it. We are a team of 30 members. I think we formed it in a matter of three and a half months. Of course, God the rest got it with. So three and a half months is not an easy matter to get a 30 member team who's standing and sitting right about you and giving their life to the Lord. Amen? So the first thing is John 3.16. Let me turn our balance to John 3.16. Let's go to the gospel of the Lord. Everybody knows it. Everybody knows it in India and we lost it. John 3 16. It says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. There is a bond for you and me. Born of this earth because of the first sin which exists without it needs to be broken, it needs to be taken off, and only then you will experience the fullness of God. And God didn't do some big thing, you gotta do you gotta do various things to get that. He just did one thing. Receiving, reception. Reception. He said all you gotta do is receive. John chapter 1 verse 40. Can you just run through this right? I think it's there. John chapter 1 verse 12. Yeah, that's what the previous one. Yeah. To all those who received him, in him, he gave the power to become the children of God. Now a child of God is someone who is overcome sin and is ruling over sin. There is a scepter given in your hands and you rule it. And that brought them to a place where they became the children of God. Speak the Lord Jesus in their hearts. And that brought them to a place where they became the children of God. Can you go back to the slide? Yeah, the next one. Okay, the Father's strategy is John 3.16. Do you believe that? Yes. When I say believe, it means do you exercise faith in that? Yes. That's what it means. Live! Love it. Live! Yeah. Okay. So now, the first thing is, know this Lord of God. But the Bible says, to all those who receive Him, who believe in His name, He gave the power to become the children of God. You know? The Messiah, the power of God, and the wisdom of God. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 23. Paul writes, Son of God, all you gotta do is receive it. All you gotta do is receive it. And how do you get to that place? The first word of wisdom repent. Repent. You know, the Lord keeps hitting you on the repent. Now, repentance is a very painful process, it's not easy. It's a very painful process. It goes on for a day, two months, years. If you have. 
God's children. But then God's mercy is point of one decision that you make as to receive it. Just receive it. I love you. I want you to come There's no way out other than Jesus. 